Hi guys, Graeme here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd just like to uh, quickly touch on how to charge your lithium battery that from uh, Baintec up by a solar panel. So we're getting asked a lot of questions, how do I connect my solar panel to um, say your 75 or your 110 amp hour slimline which has an Anderson plug, is it the in and out and so forth. So to clear a couple of things up, your Anderson plug is no different than like your positive and negative off the top of your normal battery, it's an in for input, so from charging input from a charger or from your vehicle, and at the same time you connect your loads like your fridges and um, lights and all those sorts of devices to the same point. So this particular one here is our new little 75 amp hour compact, um, great little battery. So when I say little battery, it's big on power though, so that's equivalent to about 150 amp hour AGM battery, just in this one little uh, battery pack here. Has a single Anderson plug on it, it's rated to 100 amp, um, so that's fine there. So now if you wanted to have just charge the battery up via solar, you could quite simply just plug your uh, solar controller into that and, uh, and your solar panel then into that and charge it. But most of the people aren't just going to want to charge it via solar, they're going to want to run loads off it at the same time, such as I said before, fridges and lights. So this little device here is just a little parallel lead. Plug that into uh, the unit like so, and you now have a dual outlet. So one can be used for an input and one can be used for an output, or they can both be used for inputs, or they can be both used for outputs, whatever you want to decide. So ultimately, we'll take this one We'll take this one first and we'll connect this one up to the solar controller for the solar panel. Uh, in this case, it's one of our uh, 120 watt solar blankets. And then you simply just add your, uh, connect your panel up to it like so. Uh, and therefore then your solar panel, once it's rolled out in the sun, obviously we'll be going through this. The regulator will regulate the source uh, and put the power back into there. So this one here, you should be around that five to six amp mark going back into your battery. So you're now left with an output that you can run your Waco fridge or Angle fridge and you can plug straight into that or you can plug that into a small distribution block as well so you can run SIGA sockets and USB sockets and all those types of things on it as well so the connections are endless what you can do it's just another way of doing it the reason we like this on these smaller batteries with the Anderson plugs is it saves having to have terminals that are exposed because they're so light and portable um, once you plug into this it's completely sealed so kids can't short it out by touching it with you know things metal contacts that they have in their hands so, um, so yeah, so there you go guys, that's quite simply how easy it is to do it. It's literally an in and an out, um, very simple to do, very easy to do. So you can throw this you know, in your car, in your boat, go for that beach trip and, um, and you're ready to go. So that's, that's one way of doing it. And uh, if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to either give us a call or click on the link below in the video. And thanks for watching.